This video is a continuation of the heat exchanger and horizontal vessel isolated foundation video. Instead of using isolated footings, however, I will select combined and strap footings, then evaluate the difference. In the exchanger geometry section, I will first select combined footing. The only section that's altered is the footing geometry section. Most of the inputs are the same as the footing geometry section using isolated footings but its arrangement is a bit different and a few new inputs are added. For example, the length parameters are replaced by left and right overhang options. The user can choose to have fixed or unfixed left overhang, right overhang, and footing width. If unfixed and the current design has failed, the program will increase the overhang or width by the appropriate increment. Basically, these three options allow the user to control which direction the combined footing is increased, if footing size needs to be increased. Also, a maximum length input is added to control total combined footing length, including overhangs. To create an isolated strap footing, go back to the exchanger geometry section and first select isolated footing. Then check the strap beam option. The footing geometry section is exactly the same as regular heat exchanger isolated footing but you will notice that a new section is added called Beam Geometry. Here, Beam Geometry and Reinforcement parameters are available. Also, a UDL, or Uniformly Distributed Load, can be added to the beam. Strap footing is often used to transfer high lateral load from one footing to another. The general assumption is that the beam is not in contact with the soil and will carry any applied moment on top of the footing. All other sections are the same for isolated, combined, and strapped footings. Differences in design of these footings are seen by viewing design steps in the calculation sheet and also the detail drawing, which shows different views of the foundation and any reinforcement to scale. The calculation sheet and detail drawing become available once the job has been designed. Thank you for watching this tutorial.